something that happened to our recording of this video. I don't know what exactly happened. I may or may not have had my microphone plugged in, but either way, we were going up a trail and we noticed there was a group of people coming down. So we had uh, stopped, backed up, pulled off to the side. And there they all are. In the meantime, what happened was is Lisa had pointed out that there was some sheep going over the mountain off to the left. So after we took our pictures and said our goodbyes and chit-chatted a little bit, found out that they were in the other RV park behind us in Brenda. They were at uh, Black Rock uh, RV Park. So we headed up the mountain to go see where the uh, bighorn sheep went. And one of the guys told us that the pass or the, the road was a little treacherous. So we decided to go ahead and go anyways it was getting kind of late in the day and here in Arizona mm -hmm. even in late in the day it's still only like 60 some degrees sun is shining bright but on the right there you see how the everybody went and I was looking at the rock in front of me to see if I could go up it which probably could but it looked really steep even though it doesn't show that steep here in the video. So I decided to go around on the right side of it. Of course I had to put everything in low and four wheel drive. So as I made my way around to the right, then I come back off to the left. The shoulder got really soft and the front wheel kind of pushed down so I had to back up a little bit straighten out the wheel get it off the soft part of the shoulder there so I could get up and around on it I finally did it now there was a lot of rocks and this was pretty steep, even though the video camera doesn't show it that steep. And the pitch was was pretty bad also. It switched from left to right. And I went around the, the right of that one also, because I didn't want to go up and over the rock. So... I really enjoy driving this machine up these hills and around these mountains at least they're collecting the rocks and then we're able to see things like the sheep that you'll see coming up soon we're getting up here to the top and get around here from here on out it gets pretty boring it's just normal nothing too bad little hill
sitting right there. This went over a little bit and sat. after they bolted it off we gave them a few minutes started everything up and followed the trail around and then you'll see them up here a little bit uh, probably about center of the camera to the left part of the camera they'll be you'll well actually yeah you see them right there they're on the right side up on the hill. And then when I turn all around to go on this side, then they come up on the left, up at the corner, probably around like 10 o'clock. The white butt's up there. My little finger shoving it up there. Again, we didn't have audio on this recording or in this video. over again so we left the sheep alone we didn't want to go straight and scare them or chase them or anything so we started to uh, head back to the trailer go back the way we came down that uh, one hill that we just came up going down was a lot steeper because uh, my knees were pressed up against the dash the whole time as we're going down. That's how much of a, uh, how steep it was going down. Well, we go back there and, and uh, look for rocks all the way in and out. And we've been finding all sorts of them. Lisa's favorite's the uh, Cal Sydney, which she calls desert rose uh, her version of the desert rose the and just all different colors and different sizes of rocks that she picks up right there was just the one real steep pitch uh, coming back over and she collects a lot of rocks Calcignia ones are, from my understanding, the rocks that are formed uh, at the bottom of the ocean when there is a volcanic, uh, say, seepage, I don't want to call it an eruption, but it would open up the hot magma, would bubble the quartz out and the quartz would make these uh, ripples, bubbles and things in the calcium and then it would end up at the bottom of the ocean millions of years ago. We're still heading down the, the trail here, but you'll see we found a couple of big rocks of the calcigny and uh, some other ones, kind of smaller during our little trip here. I'll show a picture of that at the end. I just want to show you how we're going down. So, again, this camera does not show how steep it is. It 
it's a lot easier, obviously, going down <laughs> than going up. Going down is not the problem, it's the stop. Well, there was some more trails back there, but again, we didn't want to chase or stress out the sheep, so we decided to leave the area after we got our footage. That was a shoulder that was really soft. Now it's on Lisa's side. I don't know if you can tell it, but right in front is where the first rock was that I went around. And the reason why I said no, I am not, because I have some family members and friends that would have made a derogatory remark <laughs> for not going over the rock. After I switch it over from four wheel drive to two wheel drive, put it in high, we uh, head out of this little area. What was so great about this little area is like this is a little uh, draw, I guess you would say. It's just uh, surrounded by mountains and the new water management reserve I believe is what it was called had a lot of the trails marked off uh, obviously to protect the environment from us but heading out of here was pretty neat with the sun going down I would say it was uh, what probably about 3.30 I think at this time uh, we still had to look for more rocks and I stopped to pan for gold but for some reason the video wasn't going at that time I was trying out my skills of searching for gold didn't find any haven't found it yet We got plenty of rock. I think Lisa had collected two or three three pound cans of coffee filled with rocks, plus a bunch of others. And we left them at the park also, which we'll just pick them up or leave them there the next time. We come up here to stop to get a take a selfie, and that's it.